Hello, my name is Michael Uderbrook and I'd like to share a little information from Billy Edward Albert Meyer as of December 15th, 2020 about the right use of masks. So hopefully this will be helpful for you in deciding what kind of mask you should use under what situations. We will be dealing with European standards, but I will just quickly convert that into European uh, to North American equivalents. Let's try that. In Europe, respirators are divided into three classes, the FFP1, the FFP2, which is our N95s, or in China, it would be the KN95, and the FFP3, which is our P100. The abbreviation FFP stands for filtering face piece. Easy enough. The FFP1 reliably serve only to keep out fine dust particles and to protect the respiratory tract against dangerous aerosols of all kinds. However, these masks do not correspond to virus protection masks. Class of FFP2 respirators are recommended to protect against bacterial pathogens. Although they cannot guarantee full virus rejection, they do largely protect against the inhalation of foreign disease-contaminated respiratory aerosols and against the ingestion of foreign saliva droplets and thus against such transmissible germs. Respiratory protection masks with a protection class 3 or higher also provide largely reliable protection against viruses such as the coronavirus, the COVID-19, or uh, and including also in influenza viruses. Due to its properties, the FFP3 filter can generally be used as a protection against all viruses to the greatest possible extent. The designation EN149 corresponds to the European standard for tested FFP respirators. Here in North America, it's the Neusch National Institute for Occ Occupational Safety and Health, which puts their stamp on the um, respirators uh, and uh, filters, um, on the filters. These can be, oh, okay, so coming back to the um, European standards, these can be recognized by the EN149 imprint and the CE mark on the mask. According to the European standard, the maximum total leakage, i.e. the total leak leakage directed inwards, is 22% for the FFP1 masks, 8% for the FFP2, and 2% for the FFP3 masks. Surgical masks meet the highest safety requirements and guarantee the best possible protection against all types and species of pathogens, and thus also against bacteria and viruses. Although, in the end, there is no absolute safety, only a relative best and highest possible safety of 95%. Surgical masks have to be tested by an overall leakage test, and the tight fit at the neck and face has to be taken into account. Surgical masks are usually not used privately but in the operating theaters and primarily protect the patients, i.e. less the wearers of the masks because, as with all other respiratory masks, they prevent saliva droplets from being ejected and respiratory aerosols from escaping. However, especially in the case of surgical masks, it is necessary to use a close-fitting mask with a moldable, no uh, no <laughs> moldable nose piece because only this guarantees a real protective effect. The FFP1 single-ply paper face masks, homemade fabric masks, face and mouth and nose shields of any, any kind and pocket and neck and head scarves are all totally ineffective as respiratory, uh, respiratory protection devices, but are also safety illusioning and disease promoting. So creating the illusion of safety. 
In principle, in situations where there is contact with suspected cases, at least suitable and tested useful FFP1 masks should be worn. This, while tested FFP2 and FFP3 masks are essential to wear when coughing or sneezing fits are imminent, indicating illness. Persons in contact with others and immediate family members should at least protect themselves with a tested FFP1 mask. So not the single ply ones, but the, the good FFP1 masks. Persons who come into contact with other and immediate family members outside the immediate personal family circle should wear the FFP2 respirators, as it should also be within their home if it has to be entered for care and maintenance reasons. The same applies if it is necessary to enter other households. So wear the N95. The general population can protect themselves to some extent during an epidemic or pandemic by wearing an appropriate respirator of at least an FFP2, but never with the single ply paper masks, the handkerchiefs, uh, neck or head scarves, bandanas, also the face shields are totally useless. Uh, there is always a danger with persons who wear the wrong respirators due to wrong advice or know-it-all attitude, etc., that they will lull themselves into a false sense of security and also disregard and neglect other necessary preventative measures and therefore could fall ill and die. So there you have it. That's the information. That's part one of the information that came from Billy that comes from Billy Edward Albert Meyer as of December 15th, 2020. And hopefully that will give you a little bit of insight into the different types of masks and what to watch out for and what are the best ones to use. All right. Thank you very much. And we'll talk to you again.